Hi, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. So today we're going to take a look at CATI's Level 3 Plus plate. Now, Level 3 Plus isn't an NIJ standard. The reason it exists is because Level 3 steel plates can be defeated by M193 when fired from a 16 inch or longer barrel at 50 feet or less. Um, level 3 polyethylene plates can be perforated by M855 from a 16 inch or longer barrel, and etc, etc. That Level 3 is designed to stop M80 ball. And that's it. Other cartridges may or may not make it through. Some people think that Level 3 means that it'll stop everything up to 7.62, but that's not the case. The reason Level 3 Plus exists is to indicate that it's capable of doing something more than just the NIJ Level 3 standard. Now, because it's not an actual standard, because it really literally just means that the manufacturer is saying, hey, it'll do something more, it means it's kind of up to us as a community to decide what Level 3 Plus ought to be. In my opinion, which is worth every cent that you paid for it, Level 3 Plus should be able to stop M193 when fired from a 16 inch barrel at relatively close range, 10 to 20 feet. If it can do any more than that, great, but it should be able to at least stop M193 from a 16 inch barrel at 10 or 20 feet. So, what we're going to do to start with with CATI's Level 3 Plus plate is we're going to fire M193 from an 18 inch barrel at about 20 feet. Error. Guess I have to shoot it again. Error. There we go. Three, two, six, eight. It's hard to see these impacts on video. Hardly even swelled up the coating. <laughs> oh, I can feel a little bit of a dent right here. in. That's legit. Okay, you can see I had a little trouble getting a chronograph reading, but it gave the opportunity to put a few more hits on that plate, and it definitely held up. There was very, very little deformation in the plate. No fragments escaped it. It did fantastically, if that's a word. Now, on the subject of the Level 3 Plus reading, CATI's plate, I believe, earns that rating perfectly. There are some other manufacturers out there that maybe don't. Uh, you've seen some testing from my channel and from the Wound channel and Buffman where some of those so-called Level 3 Plus plates don't quite meet what a lot of us would consider is necessary for level 3 plus. That's why I think some of this informal testing is really important. That said, it's also important to keep things in perspective. What you need from your armor is drastically different than what someone else may need from their armor. And of course, so-called backyard tests like what I do, informal YouTube tests, provide only a small picture a small slice of what a given plate is capable of doing. And people like myself, the Wound Channel, Buffman, 
we tend not to spend a lot of time on other factors. We test ballistically in worst case conditions. We don't talk about weight, curve, comfort. And I think a big part of the reason that we do that is because we leave it up to you, dear viewer, <laughs> to do the research, to decide for yourself how important weight is to you, how important the amount of curve is to you. The threat level that it can stop matters, but it only matters to the degree that you're still able to move around comfortably. So you have to decide for yourself where that balance lands. If you have any questions or if you think I got something wrong, as always, leave a comment below. I appreciate your support. Thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing and all of that. All of that stuff that you've been doing helps small channels like mine a great deal. Thank you for your support. I hope you have a great day. Oh, you got